Y'all, AJ Simmons here. Today, I want to tell you every single thing that you need to get started with a cleaning business as far as equipment and supplies, all right? So if you want to get started with a cleaning company, but you don't know exactly what supplies you're going to need, I'm about to tell you right now. As y'all know, uh, if you go to cleanbiznetwork.com, I sell starter kits, okay? But if you don't want to get my starter kit, you just need to know the basics for what you need. I'm going to tell you in this video right here, if you're listening on the podcast, shout out to you. You can't see it, but if you're watching on YouTube, you can see the pictures, okay? So basically where I'm at right now is just on my website, and I'm going to show you everything that comes in the starter kit, plus I'll match a couple of things that you might need, all right? So this first thing that you're going to need is some chemicals, okay? So you need something to clean with, all right? So what I recommend is any type of all-purpose disinfectant, okay? Because you got all-purpose cleaners out there, but then all of them are not disinfectants. So I recommend getting a disinfectant. That way, you can use the same one solution for your bathrooms, for your offices, for anywhere, okay? Um, even for your mop water, you can use the same uh, all-purpose disinfectant, all right? Now, the one that I recommend is uh, Simple Green because... Simple Green is a uh, is a green product, so it's not as um, you know hazardous to your health because most uh, disinfectants are hazardous to your health. And if you're going to be breathing this stuff in, or your employees are going to be breathing this stuff in, or even your customers might be breathe this stuff in, you want to make sure that it's not uh, you know detrimental to their health. So that's the first thing: some all-purpose uh, disinfectant cleaner. All right. The next thing you're going to need is spray bottles. Make sure that those spray bottles are labeled. All right, and you want commercial grade spray bottles, okay? Make sure that the nozzle on the spray bottle is actually commercial grade and not something that's gonna break, uh, you know, very easily and the trigger's just gonna get stuck. So make sure you get some quality spray bottles and make sure that they're labeled because if they're not labeled, you could get fined, a, a pretty hefty fine by um, OSHA, okay? And then also, not only you could get fined, but your customer, if you're leaving these products uh, on site at your customer location, then the customers could be fine and they might pass that on to you on top of the fine from OSHA, okay? So you might get charged double, all right? The next thing you'll need is some type of uh, measuring tool, whether you use the walking wheel to measure square footage or you can use a laser laser measure, okay? So as you can see, if you're looking at the pictures, my starter kit comes with the laser uh, version. I used to use the uh, wheel measure, but... Um, it's a lot faster if you use the laser and it kind of looks more professional too. Like the, 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 I've seen a lot of customers impressed when I come for walkthroughs and I have the measure of the laser. All right. Uh, next thing you're going to need a couple of, uh, mop heads. All right. I like the microfiber string mop heads because to me, they absorb the water better. I like, like the quality of it. They work way better than the, uh, cotton ones, but again, to each his own, but definitely going to need some mop heads. You're going to need some uh toilet bowl cleaner i'll be honest with you i didn't use toilet bowl cleaner every single time i clean toilets okay because the all-purpose disinfectant will take care of the cleaning of the toilet really to me the, the toilet bowl cleaner I, this is just my opinion i'm not giving you facts here okay but my the, the toilet bowl cleaner to me is just going the extra mile so you can leave that blue color in the water it does smell nice but uh really the disinfectant will take care of the cleaning of the toilet really by itself all right Next thing you're going to need is replacement uh, vacuum bags because obviously you're going to need a vacuum cleaner, all right? So whether you choose an upright vacuum or a backpack vacuum, uh, either way you're going to need a vacuum. I like the backpack vacuum because it'll take care of your carpets as well as your um, your hard floors, all right? So any type of flooring, a backpack vacuum can usually handle it. The only time I might be cautious with a backpack vacuum is if your backpack vacuum, the bottom of it, could scratch up like a hard um a hardwood floor so just make sure that the bottom of your backpack vacuum either has an attachment that's made for floors or that is it, it won't scratch up the floors all right but backpack vacuum is what i recommend however commercial upright is fine as well make sure the commercial upright if you're going to be doing commercial cleaning i forgot to point that out too whenever you hear me talk i'm always nine times out of ten i'm talking about office cleaning all right i'm talking about commercial industrial cleaning all right because that's that's what i did all right and commercial can include any type of office uh you know apartment move out basically if you're paying a business and not a person it's commercial cleaning all right so all right now obviously you need a mop panel if you need mop head so that's a given but notice if you're looking at the picture notice the 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 uh type of style of the mop head uh the mop handle that i have here 
I have the I like the the claw grip. Okay, so not the ones where um, you kind of push the uh, mop through the hole and then you kind of tighten it up. I don't like that one because they slide. I like that claw grip where it'll kind of grab it like a hand would grab the head of a mop. If you can kind of visualize that if you're listening on a podcast. So try to get a commercial steady grade uh, claw grip mop handle if you can. All right. I also recommend having a flat mop. Okay. Now a flat mop, it kind of looks like a uh, Swiffer Sweeper a little bit. But the flat mop, you can, they're like microfiber pads that you can um, Velcro to the uh, handle. And you can have a dry one for push brooming. And then you can have a wet one to mop as well. And so why I like a wet mop in addition to the uh, traditional mop is because sometimes you're going to get these small contracts that may be about only 1,500 square foot. And it's all carpet, but the only parts that are hard floors is just, you know, the, the two small bathrooms and maybe the small kitchenette area. And so if you come across accounts like that, you really don't, you really don't want to bring in a big heavy duty uh, mop uh, and a, a mop and bucket. So what you can use is that flat mop and it'll get the job done just as fast, a lot faster, okay? All right, and speaking of mop buckets, so here we go. That's the next thing on our list. You're going to need a mop bucket, all right? common sense <laughs> all right you're also going to need a uh, a toilet brush okay so some customers won't have toilet brushes on hand so just keep one handy just in case they don't have one but a lot of customers will have them but just in case they don't you can have it all right you also want to have a duster so you want to have an extendable duster that can get you know high high, high places um uh, on tops of like uh you know ceiling fans and uh, anything high all right so you need a extended duster all right um uh, broom and um and dustpan that's kind of obviously self-explanatory i do recommend that you get a dustpan that doesn't require you to bend down so if you can get one with a handle on it like you see pictured here then definitely get that all right then you're gonna need some microfiber cloths okay i recommend microfiber cloths because to me they work the best all right and notice how if you look at this picture the way they have it folded i would have my like this one i would have my cloth folded just like that when i clean okay because one thing that if you fold it like this you can use that one side of the cloth flip it over use that other side of the cloth then reverse it flip it again use that other side of the cloth flip it again use that other side of the cloth then open it up close it back and fold it again and then you have four more sides okay so you can get eight uses out of a cloth if you know how to use it right now notice that i have uh three different color cloths here in my starter kits and the reason why I have them like that is because uh, I like to implement a color coded system because you don't want to cross contaminate all right so you might use one color just for restrooms another color just for dusting and then maybe another color just for uh, you know uh, kitchens or something else but you, basically the point is you don't want to cross contaminate all right so you can kind of create your own in-house color coded system with your cloths if you want to but that's just my thing all right I already went over uh, vacuums already. And then the last thing I would say is either some type of cart or a tr rolling trash can with an apron on it, all right? I always used a rolling trash can with an apron on it, and I just housed all of my supplies inside that apron. However, a cart would do just would do a great job as well. Um, the, sometimes the, the, the trash bags on the carts aren't as big, and so you can't fit as much in there versus if you got a... Uh, the rolling trash can those those holes for the, tra the trash you know the amount of trash it can hold is a lot bigger typically okay but a cart or a rolling trash can either way is fine again if you have smaller accounts like the ones i, I described earlier it's only like 1500 square feet or something you won't need the big rolling trash can okay you, you you'll be just fine without that but once you get to larger accounts that rolling trash can or that cart would definitely come in handy all right so that's all of the supplies that i recommend that you have um and then a couple things that I would add on to is you might want to get you some gloves. Well, ain't no might about it. You definitely want to have some gloves. I don't include gloves in my starter kit only because everybody will need different sizes and I don't want to have to go through that. So that's the one thing that you can get on your own if you don't get my starter kit. Also, that you might want to add on is the 60-gallon trash bags, all right? Now, the reason why I like the 60-gallon trash bag is because uh, you can put it inside your rolling trash can, all right? And dump all of the small trash cans that you're dumping throughout the building inside of that one trash can right now obviously your customer may have those already on hand on the account of their ordering their own paper products and trash bags 
but it's still a good uh, thing to have them yourself just because what if that building does not have large trash bags or maybe they might not want you using their trash bags for that if they're paying for them, all right? So I recommend I would just keep some 60-gallon trash bags on hand just in case. And then the final thing isn't really a equipment or supplies, but you definitely want to have your marketing materials, okay? Your business cards and your uh, and your flyers, if you want flyers or brochures or whatever the case may be. But any type of marketing or promotional material would definitely come in handy, all right? So that's all of the equipment and supplies that you would need. Outside of that, as far as paying for anything, obviously you would need to get your LLC. Your EIN number is free at IRS.gov, and that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you guys. I'm AJ Simmons. If you're interested in getting the starter kit here, then make sure you come to cleanbiznetwork.com and click on the starter kit, all right? You can see everything listed at what it comes with. The price is $19.97. We ship it straight to your home. It comes with 10 bid appointments from our lead generation service, so that way you can get your customers fast. It comes with coaching ongoing coaching in our uh, private Facebook group and it also comes with uh, our course all right and the starter kit course teaches you every single thing you can know whether it comes whether you got questions about invoices uh, uh, whether you should put sales tax or hiring employees or whatever the case may be that course will answer your question all right you can see we have rave reviews all five so make sure you check that out cleanbiznetwork.com I will talk to y'all soon AJ Simmons thank you